Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to easily record your gameplay footage in LaunchBox. I'm also gonna show you how to take screenshots. The first thing we're gonna go over are screenshots. This is actually really easy to do. It's built into LaunchBox and BigBox. So what we're gonna do is set up a hotkey. We're gonna to go to Tools, Options, and we're gonna scroll down until we see Screen Capture. So as you can see, we've got a screen capture key. I have none set, so I'm gonna go ahead and set one. I'm just gonna put a F11 right here. So this is gonna be my screen capture key, but keep in mind that RetroArch cannot be screen captured reliably under normal means. But LaunchBox is gonna try its hardest to do this. If not, you can always set up a hotkey for RetroArch itself for its built-in take screenshot feature. But for this video, we're going with the built-in screen capture feature in LaunchBox and BigBox. So I've set my hotkey up as F11, choose OK, make sure we apply these settings. So now all we need to do is test it out. I'm just gonna go to PSP and we'll start up Ratchet and Clank. All right, so now that I'm in a little bit of gameplay, I'm gonna go ahead and take a screenshot. Press F11. Now if I exit the game, LaunchBox is going to ask me if I want to save those three screenshots. I'm going to choose yes, and we will have to kind of refresh these images, but they're going to be listed right here. These are also in our screenshot folder, so I've just taken my own screenshots for this game here using LaunchBox. You can set that hotkey up uh, basically any way you want. But remember, some of these emulators already have their hotkeys set up. So if you do choose something like F5, it might minimize the screen and let's say PPSSPP. You kind of got to watch out for that and just find a hotkey that works for you. Now it's time to move over to recording your gameplay. This does take a little more setup, but I'm going to go ahead and walk you through it. When it comes to recording your gameplay in LaunchBox and BigBox, we're going to utilize an application called OBS. We've got OBS integration with LaunchBox, and uh, we're going to go to Tools, Options. If we scroll down here to Integrations, at the very bottom here, we've got OBS Studio. As you can see, I don't have anything set up yet. I don't even have OBS installed, and we're going to go ahead and install it. So right here, we can head over to the OBS Project website. We're going to download the Windows version. We'll install it. And we want to launch OBS Studio. So we'll choose Finish. OBS is going to give us a nice little auto configuration wizard. So we've got the option to optimize for streaming. Recording is secondary. But for us, we want to choose this second option. Optimize just for recording because that's what we're going to be using it for. Choose Next. Make sure you have your screen resolution chosen. This is a 1080p monitor that I'm working with here. And personally, I like setting it at 60. You can go with 30 if you want to, but I'm gonna choose 60 here. My PC will handle it. We'll choose next and just give it a little read through. So we're gonna be using the hardware encoder. Our quality is high quality. Our base resolution is 1920 by 1080. Obviously, if you're working with a higher resolution monitor, you can change this. And we're gonna be at 60 FPS. I'm going to apply settings. Now we need to tell OBS exactly what to record, and we want to record our screen. So from here, we're going to choose this plus icon. We're going to add a source, display capture. You can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as display capture. Choose OK. And this is our screen. So it's going to record our full screen here. You can see our capture method is set to automatic. Our display number one, set it 1080, and we can capture the cursor or we can disable it. It's really up to you. For game recording, I usually disable it. We'll choose OK. And now from within OBS, we're going to go to Settings, Hotkeys, and we need to set up a hotkey to start recording and stop recording. Unfortunately, this has to be done in OBS as I'm making this video, but it's not a big deal. So we can set up a hotkey to start recording, and we can set up a hotkey to stop recording. As soon as I apply these settings to start recording basically anything on my PC, when OBS is up and running, I'll press Q. To stop, I'll press W. You can set this up however you'd like. 
we're going to choose apply. Okay. And now I'm just going to go ahead and minimize this. Now we're going to move back over to LaunchBox and as you can see this first setting, automatically add OBS Studio recordings to LaunchBox games. Our default OBS folder is going to be in our videos. So uh, mine's on my C drive or this PC videos. This is where my OBS captures are going to be stored. So I'm going to select this folder. That way LaunchBox knows exactly where to go for those videos. Next up, make sure OBS Studio is running before launching games. So we're going to turn this on and once we set the application path by choosing browse, we're going to go to our C drive, program files, OBS Studio, bin, 64-bit, OBS 64. This is the application path. So we want to make sure we choose this. Now LaunchBox knows exactly how to open up OBS for us. So we've got our video path set. We've got our executable path set. Choose OK. And there we have it. So I've got OBS up and running already. Let's close it down because LaunchBox is automatically going to launch OBS for us once we start up a game. Let's go with Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So I'm going to start this game up and I'm going to record some gameplay footage. All right, into some gameplay here. I'm going to start my recording by pressing the hotkey I set up, which is Q. Once I'm finished recording, I'm going to press the hotkey I set up to stop recording, which is W. Now we can exit the game. And just like with the screenshots, LaunchBox is going to ask us if we want to associate this with that game we just played. So do we want to associate this OBS Studio recording with Marvel vs. Capcom 2? Yes. Give it a second. And we'll just go ahead and quickly refresh these. We've got that brand new gameplay footage that I just recorded right here ready to go. So as you can see, it's pretty simple to set up screenshots and screen recording in LaunchBox and BigBox. And before we wrap this video up, I just wanted to show you the default locations. So when you install OBS Studio, it's going to default to your video section. So this is the recording that we just recorded. Since we associated this video with this certain game, we're going to head over to our LaunchBox directory, Videos. This was a Dreamcast game, so I'm going to go to Sega Dreamcast, Recordings, and here it is. So LaunchBox automatically copied it into the correct location. We've got a copy here, so you can always delete this one from the default OBS storage location. Go ahead and delete it just to save a little room and LaunchBox associated it with this game. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. We really appreciate you watching and hope you get these screenshots and screen recordings set up with your LaunchBox and BigBox PC. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.